Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a good day. We are painting Storm as a hero and a zombie hero from Marvel Zombies. And the regular Storm here was primed in a matte white primer uh, because we're going to be using speed paints again. But now we're going to be using the exact same speed paints on both miniatures. There's maybe one different here and there for the skin and that. Uh, but we're starting off with some blinding light. And the next miniature, the zombie version, we did a necrotic flesh primer and then a dry brush of the air paint zombie flesh just to do a little bit of high highlighting uh, to see if that actually made a difference on the um, necrotic flesh and the speed paints having a little bit more oomph to them on this kind of color but what's awesome is even just seeing with the blinding light the effect that that necrotic flesh has on the hair and now using some um, ashen stone uh, just to do the wind the tornado underneath storm here and we're going to do the same thing on the tornado with uh, the zombie version which has a bunch of skulls in it like this is intense miniatures here with the best kind of like uh, I don't know the, the basing and like the surrounding area and the diorama effect of all these miniatures from Marvel zombies is amazing uh, anyways yeah so we're moving on now to some warrior skin for um, Storm as a superhero here. Uh, this is a darker uh, speed paint for skin. I love this one, but on here because there's a lot of flat surfaces, I find it gets a little blotchy and becomes like coffee stained a bit. Um, I think the warrior skin is pretty good for this, but like on little surfaces, like their face is good enough, but just on flat areas, it's not super duper great. Uh, there's the other noble skin as well, but that's extremely dark and I don't think it would have suited more storm here Maybe but because of her black outfit uh, I think it would have been a little too much as well uh, Now I want to know from you guys in the comments now when I do these dual uh, Paintings I want to know what you would like me to have as the zombie version if you would have a different primer uh, I've got all sorts of primers, so if you want me to try different primers, or even like Slap Chop versus just a Ray on a superhero just being normal, Zenithal on the zombie but not on the hero, let me know in the comments what you'd like to see, and I'll try and make that happen as much as possible with all the dual miniatures. Now, I have a buttload of other miniatures uh, from Marvel Zombies that I only painted either the zombie hero or the hero. I'm thinking, I don't know if this is a good idea, but that they're going to be member exclusive videos for the other version of the miniature uh, I'd like to get a lot more support on this channel for the hobby like I said I want to hit 5,000 subscribers I don't think I'm gonna hit that this year I would love to so don't forget to hit that like and share join if you can it's not expensive it's like a, a cup of coffee a day but for the whole month and you get to enjoy some ex extraordinary videos that are uh, gonna come out as exclusive to you only all right, so I sped up this next section here quite a bit, up to eight times, because four times was a little long, and regular would have been like super long. So these miniatures took a little longer to paint, but it's just this, this the grim black here on some of the areas was harder to get to uh, because of just the poses and all that stuff that these miniatures have. And, but again, on the white, the grim black turns out amazingly, but it looks, you'll see that on the zombie version, it actually comes out looking pretty cool. It has the hint of the necrotic flesh come through just a little bit, turns the black a little bit more decayish like. And just to note too, there was two uh, spots on her left leg that I should have done with the bony matter. I didn't notice at all until I started painting the black and I said, well, you know what? I already painted it over it. I wasn't going to go back and fix it up and touch it up and repaint it again and re-apply uh, some bony matter to it. So if you catch those on her left leg, uh, there's a spot, I think, on the outside, on the inside of her thigh uh, with the skin showing there. So uh, you just don't want to make a mess out of that. And, you know, it doesn't show too much with the grim black because it just covers it up. It just looks like a tear in or the flesh is like pulsing through the the boot which is kind of cool too actually uh some pallid bone now for all those skulls in that whirlwind of zombie craziness which is really intense like it's pretty cool that they went and put like skulls in there like i find that's pretty dark i know dark phoenix has something similar as well in her zombie version which she will be coming up soon enough eventually i gotta see who's gonna be next to paint uh, but again, comment down below uh, if you think it's a good idea that only members get to see the uh, other 
uh, version of zombies or heroes I've already painted on the channel. I just want to know your comments, okay? I just I, I like to see what you guys think of my videos. I know some of you are probably getting sick of seeing always speed paints. Well, with War Paints Fanatics coming down the line soon, I don't know when, but I'm hoping to get my hands on at least a few of them, if not like most of them. Uh, I've gone through the list to see which ones I already have in the old stuff and I don't care if it's not the same formula if it doesn't come out the same I still want to use them to test with the new formula coming out So that'll be a good way to check it out So I'm looking forward to trying out those war paints fanatics and getting to you guys on the channel here um, Anyways, these were great miniatures to paint. I love the effect of the bony matter on the necrotic flesh It really does a great job bringing out that zombie feel like that undead feel and as you can see now what I'm doing with the trims here with the gold, I'm just hitting like spots. I wasn't going very nicely on her on this version of it. And it's like it looks like her cape is just all ripped up. Anyways, there you have it folks. Storm version, superhero version, a zombie all painted up ready for Marvel zombie side. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And we'll see you all in the next one.